Hey, how's it going? Zach D Productions here, and I'm here for a CD pickup video for you guys. So I got six CDs here to go over, so I'll go ahead and show you what I got. Now, this first CD here I got in the mail through eBay. This CD is by the band Overkill. I got their album Feel the Fire, which I believe is their debut. But yeah, you really can't go wrong with Overkill. Definitely one of my favorite thrash bands. So there you go. Feel the Fire by Overkill. Um, definitely great stuff here. I do have the majority of Overkill's uh, catalog too, which is very nice. Now this CD here, I also got in the mail, but I got this one through Amazon, I believe. And this album here is by the band Bush, and I got their album, The Kingdom which is one of their later albums. Really good stuff. But yeah, can't go wrong with Bush. So there you go, got more Bush for the collection. Now, this next CD here, I got at Barnes & Noble, and you know, this CD here, I kinda went back and forth about picking up several times because I do believe that this is their weakest album. And I think many fans could agree on that, that this is their weakest, but, you know, that's why I've obviously went back and forth about picking it up, because there's really only maybe a few songs that I actually like from this album. But I decided to pick it up, because, hey, why not? And, you know, the album, it's not all bad. Again, I mean, I definitely don't dislike it as much when the album first came out, but... It is still easily their worst album, and I am, of course, talking about Linkin Park's One More Light. That's right, I decided to pick up the last Linkin Park album. This was, unfortunately, Chester's last album with Linkin Park, and also just the last Linkin Park album. I'm not sure if we'll ever get another album from these guys. I mean, it might be best that they don't release another album, uh, but yeah... So this is the last Linkin Park album, One More Light. Decided to go ahead and grab it for the collection. So the last few CDs here I got at the exchange. So this CD here is by the band Alice in Chains. And this CD is simply just called Alice in Chains Live. And many of you may know that Alice in Chains is probably my favorite grunge band. Definitely a great band, and of course, rest in peace to Lane Staley. But yeah, more Alice in Chains. Can't go wrong. So, the last two CDs here are from Dream Theater, and these are both um, archive CDs. Now, I do have a few Dream Theater archive CDs in my collection already, so when I saw these two, I figured, hey, why not? Um, now, I did have a problem with one of the archive CDs that I bought one time. Like, it had the correct, like, disc artwork and everything, but I remember when I played it, it was a totally different CD. So, I think that's why for a little while there, I was kind of hesitant towards these archive CDs, because I'm not sure what the what's going on with manufacturing and stuff, and why, you know, uh, the disc is reading a completely different CD, you know, obviously something got messed up there, but, you know, I really can't hold anything against them over one instant like that, um, or instance like that, so I decided to grab these two archive CDs from Dream Theater, and what we got here is Dream Theater Made in Japan Live 2006. I do have a lot of Dream Theater CDs now, for those who don't know. And then the other archive Dream Theater CD I got here is Dream Theater Live at Wacken 2015. So there you go, more Dream Theater. So let me know what you think. Are you a fan of these bands? Do you have these CDs? Feel free to let me know. So on that note, thanks for watching and have a good one.